and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about adding quick disconnects to the Arcade 1UP uh, cabinet. Now you may be wondering what you're looking at here. This is the back of the cabinet. And this is the LCD board. So you're probably very familiar with this if you've modded your Arcade 1UP cabinet. Now this probably is, looks different to you because you may not have seen this or you don't know what it is. So I'll, let me explain. Now excuse the wiring mess me here, I've never done any wire management yet, I just wanted to make everything accessible. Now one thing a lot of people have complained about that I've read is they're having problems with, uh, you know, like they're taking things apart, putting it back together. And that can be time consuming when you have an Arcade 1UP cabinet. So just to explain what's going on here, let's start with the, the white cord on the right here. This actually goes directly to the single speaker on the Arcade 1UP board. And as you look, it goes to a female to male connector. So I just cut a cable. This is one end of the, of the cable, that's the other end. It actually goes all the way down and I spliced it into this which goes directly to the LCD board to feed the left channel of the Arcade 1UP. Next, you're no, probably you probably know what this is. This is a USB port. Now you're probably wondering why there's only one. I actually managed to shove a two like a like a four port USB hub inside the Arcade 1UP uh, deck. So I only need one USB. That way I can have a like a USB extension cord going straight to the Raspberry Pi, as you can see there. So this is actually really convenient because uh, eventually I'm going to have a, a PC in here. So I can just unplug the white cord here, plug it into the PC, you know, plug the HDMI into the PC, and I can go back and forth between a PC and an Arcade 1UP. I can even actually use the DVI port right here for the PC if I need to, and all I would need to swap is this uh, USB port if I wanted to go that way. Alright, next we have this, uh, this is just an Ethernet jack, so I've actually been using Cat5 cables to run a bunch of things here. So let's start with the blue one. As you can see in the blue one, I've marked it blue just so I don't connect them incorrectly, but the blue one actually goes all the way down here and then it goes back up. All it is is it's feeding the two coin buttons that I've added at the front of the deck. That way you don't have to remove anything or unplug anything because it's not attached to the deck protector. If I ever need to get to the, for the, to the deck there, I would need to just unclip it here and I'm ready to go. And last but not least, we have this red cord here which I signified as power. So that's actually going all the way down to the Raspberry Pi. So you can see here. So I'm using Iculus as a guide. So it goes to the, these two here, which turns it on and off. And these three down here will power your volume switch. So if you're wondering how any of that works, definitely check out my previous video. Or you can even check out Iculus's page on how to do it. But I just uh, show it step by step in my video and uh, go from there. And so as you can see, if I unplug this, 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 and this, I can detach the control deck without having to do anything else. And that would control the power and the volume and everything else. And so it's nice and clean. So if you have any questions about this video, please uh, leave a comment and I can even post another video about what it looks like in my deck protector. You probably don't want to see it. It's quite a mess, but I'll never open it again. So this is pretty much what, all you need to do to make it easy to disconnect and reconnect it. Okay, so if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll add more Arcade 1UP videos in the future. Thanks for watching.